In this video, we solve problem 12.2.004 from the Larson and Edwards Calculus Early Transcendental Functions text, seventh edition. We're asked to find r prime and r of t naught and r prime of t naught for the given value of t naught. And we have r of t is given by this function. Now, I personally prefer to work with component form. So I'm going to write my r of t this way. I've got three plus t times i hat plus t cubed times j hat. So when we ask, we're asked to find r prime of t. All we have to do is take the derivative of each component. The derivative of the first component is one. The derivative of the second component is three t squared. So you could type in um, this component form for r prime of t. Or if you prefer, you could type in i hat plus three t squared times j hat. Web assigned should accept both of those answers because they're both correct. Then when it asks you for r, r evaluated at t naught, that's r evaluated at t naught equals one. You just plug in one here and here. Well, if t equals one, I'll have three plus one, which is four, and one cubed, there is my y component, which is of course one. <clears throat> okay, and then the last thing we want to do is find r prime at t naught, so we just evaluate this at t equals one. So that's a vector with components one and three, if t equals one. So those are our answers to that part. And then we're asked to sketch the curve given by r of t along with r of uh, one and r prime of one. So first what I would do to sketch the curve is I would write down the parametric equations for this curve. So this is x of t and this is y of t. And then I would try to eliminate the parameters so that I can draw this curve in the same way that I would have drawn it um, just in the x, y plane without a parameter t. So if x equals three plus t and y equals t cubed. I think the easiest way to do that is to just solve this equation for t. So t turns out to be x minus three. And then I substitute t equals x minus three into this equation. So that is the rectangular form of this equation. It's a cubic function. It's just been moved uh, three units to the right. So that's what we'll see. When x equals three, y equals zero. When x equals two or four, this is what we'll get. When x equals two, we'll have negative one cubed. When x equals four, we'll have four minus three, which is one, and we'll cube it. Um, when x equals five, we would have two cubed, which is eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight would have to be up here somewhere. And then over here, I guess we would have negative eight. I need to continue drawing my graph down. So I have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, negative seven, negative eight. When x equals one, we'll get negative eight. And this is not to scale. So the path actually looks like this, just a cubic function, just like you're used to from pre-calculus, but it, there's an orientation associated with this path. So as t increases, x increases, and y increases as well. So the orientation is this. We're gonna go farther to the right and we're gonna go up as t increases. Okay, so that's our path. And we're also, also asked to sketch r of uh, t naught. And in this case, t naught is one. So we have r of one equals four one and we want to sketch r prime of one equals one three. Now the way r of one is typically drawn is from the origin. So we say when t is equal to one, uh, we go four units in the x direction, one unit in the y direction, and that is r of one. So remember r of t is just a pointer. It points to a particular location on the path. Um, and that's the vector. We usually don't draw the vector whenever we graph the path itself, but now we are explicitly asked to draw the vector. So it's saying you are here at this location, x equals four, y equals one. Um, and then over here, we have our prime of one and we're given this, or we, we computed this. Um, so it says 
um, whenever you are at a particular location, go one unit in the x direction and three units in the y direction from that location. Now, um, we know this is the tangent vector uh, to the curve as well. Oops, it's the wrong color. So we don't tend to draw this r prime vector starting at the origin. We tend to draw it starting at the end point of r of one. So we start here and we go one unit in the x direction and three units in the y direction. So this is one, two, three, four. So we're gonna go to five, four. Now everything would, this would be a better graph. It would be more tangent to the curve if everything was drawn to scale. It's close. I think you can see that that, that should be tangent to the curve. Um, that is r prime of one. Now in WebAssign, you're just given a number of pictures and you have to choose the right one. And this is how you would graph it without a computer, obviously. But what you're looking for when you are on WebAssign is you're looking for the correct path. So you wanna see this, and then you wanna see a, a vector r of one that points to the particular location and r prime of one should be tangent to the curve at that location. It should start there and it should go in the direction of motion. So as t increases, we're going um, up and to the right. Um, so this r prime should not be pointing down and to the left, it should be pointing up and to the right as well.